Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, our Wednesday night lesson tonight. If you have your Bibles, and hopefully you do, let's turn to the book of Colossians, chapter number 3. Colossians chapter number 3. Colossians is in the New Testament. Uh, it's one of the epistles of the Apostle Paul. It's a letter that he wrote to the church at Colossae. Now, while you're turning there, um, we're, we're going to start in verse number 1. But while you're turning there, I want to explain a little uh, where I'm at. I want to tell you where I am tonight and uh, kind of give you a, a, a heads up about our Christmas event that's going to be coming up here soon in, in the month of December. Um, I'm in my workshop. This is a, I'm on the church property, and this is something that uh, was donated by uh, the people who go to our church. And um, there's some, maybe some of your parents or some of your grandparents um, helped uh, basically me to have this. And uh, all the pastors who've been in this position prior to me have been able to use this facility. And it's really nice. It's awesome. And as you can see, I've got tools behind me. Uh, I'm not going to show you everything in here, but this is where we keep all of our stuff for camp. It's where we keep all of our things for our various programs that we do. And um, it allows me to work on some fun and exciting things um, to help us uh, celebrate uh, the children's ministry and the bus ministry and all the other things that we have at our church. And uh, I just wanted to shoot the video out here tonight because I thought it would be a fun little different thing to do. Uh, and I want to use it as an illustration in just a minute. But hopefully you've gotten to Colossians chapter 3 now. And uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Let's pray. And then I want to show you something from his word that I think will bless you during this Thanksgiving season. All right, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for your goodness to us. I thank you for everybody watching tonight. Put a hedge of protection around them. Keep them safe. And Lord, help us to have a good time uh, around the word of God. Use your spirit to be a blessing. Help me to encourage everyone who's watching. And Lord, help us to be thankful. Help us to be thankful for what you do for us. Help us to understand your will for our life and, and act that will and help us to be obedient servants to you. And I thank you for that. In Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. All right, Colossians 3, look at verse number 1. Now Paul is saying something very important here. In verse number 1 he says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Now, what he's saying here is if you put your faith and trust in Jesus, if you are saved and you know you're saved, you have asked Jesus into your heart, you, you put your faith and trust in him, and you have uh, you know, accepted him as your personal savior, you are now risen with Christ. Okay, You were dead in trespasses and sins, but now you're risen in Christ again. Yay! That's a good thing. That's a celebration, right? And Paul says, if you are risen with Christ, if you're saved, our job is to seek those things which are above, okay? In other words, things of God. We're supposed to, to want to learn as much about God as we can and grow in the Lord and be obedient servants and be like Jesus, okay? And he says here, set your affection on things above, in other words, things of God, instead of things of this earth, okay? Things of this world. So in other words, look to do and be like Jesus and and seek the good things of this world and not the bad things of this world, okay? Don't give into the wickedness and the, the naughtiness and all the things that you know we shouldn't be doing, all right? Now, I want to show you something that I think will encourage you tonight from this chapter about being thankful. Uh, it's November. We're about to celebrate Thanksgiving next week. Um, we're going to spend some time uh, just thinking about how good God is. And we're going to think about all the things that we have um, that make us happy, joyful, and we talked about a little bit that last Wednesday night when we did the little hand turkey thing, and we talked about all the wonderful things that God uh, represents to us and has done for us and things that we can be thankful for. Well, this week, let's do something a little different. Let's remember those good things that God has done for us, but let's also be thankful to people in our life that God has provided for us, like our moms and dads, um, our pastors, our teachers, uh, police officers, people who serve uh, in the food service industry, people who are working at restaurants kind of thing, people working in grocery stores. There are all these people who we should be thankful to, right? And when we're thankful to other people, we're showing them the love of Christ, which is the way we're supposed to be. It says here, uh, uh, verse number 10, okay? It says, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. In other words, you know, we're to be like Jesus. We're to be loving and kind and nice to people and be thankful to people like Jesus was. And when we do that, 
It allows us to share how wonderful Jesus is, and it lets us share the gospel with other people when we're nice to them. And if we continue on, and this is a great chapter, uh, uh, and, and you know, I, I think that uh, you know we should read this whole entire chapter, but we're going to, for the sake of time tonight, look at verse number seven. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Now. Verse 23 is another great verse. Look what it says. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. I just want to share a couple things with you real quick. Number one, we need to be thankful to people. It would be really good this week uh, and next week uh, to take the time and thank our parents for being just amazing parents. Thank them for their goodness to you. Thank them for, you know, working hard and providing food and shelter and clothing and all the nice stuff that you have. Thank them for loving you. Thank them for being your parents, okay? It'd also be good maybe if you took a few moments and thanked some people in your life. Maybe your grandparents or your aunts and uncles or your cousins and other people who you know. Maybe your neighbors. Uh, you know, do it safely, of course. But, you know, maybe write them a little card or write them a, you know, do a craft and write thank you and, and let them know how thankful you are for their friendship or, or their relationship uh, that you guys have. Um, just be loving and kind to them. Uh, if you're out and about and maybe you're going to a, you know, a fast food restaurant and you're in the drive through maybe have a little uh, cart with a gospel track in it that says thank you for working so hard and, and providing food for us. It doesn't have to be complicated and just, just say thank you and put that gospel track in there so that they can hear the gospel and you know, hopefully understand the things that you understand about the Lord and how good He is so they can experience how good He is. My point is that you know, the Bible tells us that we're to put on the new man. And I know it seems kind of odd to do these kinds of things. Uh, it may seem a little bit awkward and, and weird and uncomfortable, and you might be scared to do it. Ask your mom and dad to help you, and you should put on the new man, be more like Jesus, and be kind and thankful to people in this world who should be thanked. They work hard. They're, they're doing things for you. And it's nice of them to do those things, and we should be thankful. Just like when God, I told you last week, just like when God does wonderful, amazing, awesome things for us, and we thank Him, and we should be thankful to Him, we should be thankful to people around us too. And when we do that, we're telling them that they're special to us. And they are, and they should be. The Bible tells us that they were created in God's image too. The Bible says that Jesus died for those people just like He died for you. And if we show kindness to them, it might help us to share that truth with them about how God loves them and how God died on the cross for them. And it's a great way for us to open the door for the gospel so that we can do what God has commanded us to do, so we can be servants and put on that new man and be like Jesus. I want to illustrate it this way, okay? All right, I have with me, this is a saw, okay? This is something that you would use to cut wood or, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a wood saw, and you know, you put your wood on a table. Now, disclaimer, okay, I'm talking about tools that pretty much you need to use either with your parents' supervision or uh, really adults should be using, okay? So uh, I'm not asking you to go out in your dad's garage or your mom's garage and, and her shed and, and take her saw or his saw and start using it without their permission. Don't do that, okay? Um, that's very important. These can be very dangerous, all right? Dangerous, you can, you can hurt yourself with these things. So be careful, make sure you get parents' permission or guardian's permission before you do any of this stuff, all right? But this is a saw. And we use this, this is a tool that we use to saw wood, okay? And you move it back and forth and, and it uses this blade to cut through the wood. Now this is older, as you can see, it's well used um, and it's a great tool, um, but it's not the best tool, all right? And so what I wanna say to you is this, that you know, oftentimes we, uh, we just say things like, oh, thank you when somebody does something nice for us and that's good, we should do that, but we can upgrade our toolbox, okay? We can do better. And what I mean by that is this. Look, hold on one second, all right? Now this guy right here, this is a, it's called a radial saw, all right? Now, be very, very careful. I do not recommend, uh, you, you should never use one of these without parent supervision. But my point is this, this is an upgrade. 
You know, that saw that I just showed you a minute ago was great, it works, but this thing, oh my goodness, this thing has like a ton of power, and if you put wood in here, it'll cut it super fast. Look at that blade, look at that thing. And it'll, it'll, it'll do a great job. And listen, if I'm going to use tools and I've got a lot of wood that I need to cut up, I'm gonna probably use something like this instead of using that old handsaw. It's a lot easier to use and it's more effective. And boys and girls, uh, when you take a, the time to write a card and put a track in it, not only are you being more effective at, at, at being thankful, you're being more effective at showing the love of Christ to other people. Sure, the old way of saying thanks works. Don't get me wrong. It's good. We should do it. But let's do better. Let's, let's go the extra mile. Let's do more to show people how much God loves them through us. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. God says, if you're saved, we're to set our affections, our heart, and uh, things above. We're to seek after God's will, and we're to do our best. We're to do everything heartily as unto the Lord, as if we were doing it for God himself, to God himself. And, man, it's, it's great that we say thank you, but what are some better ways that we can show people the love of Christ and appreciate them and show them that we're thankful for them? And I want you to think about that this week. I want you to pray and ask the Lord to help you find a way to be more thankful to other people so that you can show the love of Christ to them and you can be a blessing to them. And hopefully it'll open the door for you to invite them to come to church or invite them to watch one of these videos or invite them to, uh, to, to know the Lord Jesus as their Savior. It's a great way to do it. And listen, you're going to have a lot of opportunities in the next few weeks to show the love to people by being thankful. And we should do that. We shouldn't be selfish and greedy and thinking only of ourselves. We should be thankful to other people for all that they do for us, just like we should be thankful to God for all that He does for us and for all He is to us. All right, boys and girls, I hope that helped you this week. Let's pray, and then I'll let you go for the night. Quick and easy thing, but work on that this week. Think of some ways that you can show appreciation to people uh, and show them the love of God. I gave you an illustration of putting a card together with a track in it. Maybe you can think of some better ways. How can you thank your parents? How can you thank your friends? How can you thank your neighbors? How can you thank your teachers? How can you thank your pastors? Think of some really cool things that you can do in your community so that you can help show the love of God by being thankful. Let's pray. Lord, I love you and I thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for your goodness to us. Lord, we are just such a, a grateful people. Um, Lord, you have, you, have, you have given us more than we can ever give back. And Lord, thank you for giving us the free gift of salvation. Thank you that we don't have to work for it. We don't have to earn it. That it's free, that you gave it to us. We, we just simply have to ask for it. And Lord, I pray that we would recognize how precious that gift is. And Lord, help us to be thankful not only to you, but to everyone who uh, you know, is in our life. Lord, that, that we, we tend to be selfish sometimes. We tend to be greedy. And Lord, forgive us of that sinfulness and help us to be thankful people. We love you and just praise you, Lord, for your goodness to us every day. In Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching this week. I'll see you again on Sunday morning. Have a great day.